Time Fighter is now starting to take shape. All the UI elements are in place, but the to-do for the button said that the button should be titled Tap Me. But yet our button simply says Button. We need to customize our controls and we do that in the Attributes panel. As I mentioned in a previous video, the Attributes panel allows you to change various properties for items on a layout. Let's give that a shot. Here's our project when we last left off. Select the button in the layout preview. Remember, you can select the button or if there's lots of controls covering the control in question, you can select it in the component tree. With the button selected, open the Attributes panel if it is closed. Look for the text property under the Text View section. Change it to read Tap Me. And look, your button updates as well. You'll notice at the top of the panel, there's a field called ID. This is pretty important. Let's dive into it. The ID field, as the name indicates, is a unique identifier. This is how you uniquely identify various UI elements in your layout so that you can refer to those elements in your code later on. For example, to display the updated score or to change the time remaining. If you want to refer to a UI element from your code, then that element has to have a unique ID. The Tap Me button currently has an ID which says, well, button. That's not very unique at all. You could make the ID be button one or button 100 or something like that to make it unique, but when you see it in your code, it will mean nothing in terms of identifying what that button does. So let's change that to something that allows us to identify this particular button instantly. Back in our project, let's change our ID. With the button selected, change the ID for the button from button to tap me button. Our text views need text and IDs. We'll do one together, and for your upcoming challenge, you'll do another one. Okay, now select the text view in the upper left-hand corner and give it the name Game Score Text View. For the text, give it your score colon percentage S. The percent is actually a placeholder symbol. It's a placeholder for any text you want to insert into your display text. So during runtime, you can replace the percent %s marker with the actual score for the game at any point. You'll see how this works later on. Just for now, think of it as a placeholder. Just a note, you'll notice that there are two text fields called text, and one of them has a wrench next to it. The wrench indicates that the field is meant for design time or compile time features, but it won't render into your app once it is compiled out. So just keep that in mind. If you add some text there, you won't see it when you actually run your app. Okay, now let's run our app. And look at the new changes. It's all coming together.